John Paul. Uh, Charlie's not here at the moment, but you're welcome to come in for some coffee and cake, so long as you leave your pitchfork at the door. Uh, trust me, the only person I'll be holding a pitchfork to is Olivia. Sally told me what Charlie's been accused of, and I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't believe it for a second. Right, and what makes you say that? I think that Olivia's been blackmailing Charlie the same way that she blackmailed me. And I think it's about time that Sally found out exactly who Olivia is. Don't you? Oh, Sally loves a croissant, yes, she does. Oh, Sally loves a croissant, yes, she does. Sally! We agreed to be chill. I am chill. Why are they here and why are you shouting? That was my breakfast. I'll get you another croissant. Look, can you just hear us out? Speak. It's Olivia. Nope. Oh, come on. We both know that Charlie isn't stupid enough to attack his own teacher. OK, OK, let's just look at the facts here, OK? So, Charlie is accusing Olivia of blackmail. To get me fired? Uh, supposedly. But Olivia says she has proof that Charlie attacked her. What, those sketchy voice recordings? And the bruises. What, well, they could be fake for all we know. Does it matter? You can't prove that Charlie is being blackmailed by Olivia in the way that she has evidence that he assaulted her. But she's got previous, and you know it. She blackmailed you, she blackmailed me. Uh, and what did she want last time, huh? Our jobs. Exactly. And now she's after mine. Look, everyone, even Olivia, every woman has the right to be believed. And without any proof anyway, it's just hearsay. Now, I have to go by the book. Surely you understand that. If you want evidence, then that's what you'll get. Oh, don't do anything stupid. I wouldn't dream of it. Boys, come on. Nancy, what's the strategy? We need more people in our corner, and I know just who to ask first. So, the secret weapon, what is it? Where is John Paul? OK, you bite your lip. You bite your lip when you're guilty. What have you done? Guys, James is going to help us. Uh, what he means is that uh, James is busy, but he has agreed to offer some legal advice to help bring this Olivia person down. John Paul owes me for this. Legal advice? Well, I think that Nancy was after something a little spicier than that. Sienna is the secret weapon, huh? And she's the godmother of dastardly schemes. She'll take it too far, and you'll end up picking up the pieces. That's if she doesn't get you arrested first. Olivia is beating us, and I... We need Sienna's evil brain on this. No, do what you want, OK? I'm out. So, what do you think? We've got a chance, or what? Well, Olivia might be clever, but she's proven herself to be fairly predictable. Aha! Uh -huh. hey, you were right. She has been keeping something from us. Look, look. She told Sally that her last job was at the Redwood School, but it wasn't. It was at St Paul's Academy. Well, she's lied about that. I'm sure there'll be more to uncover. Why would she lie about it, though? Who cares? If we can prove that Olivia lied to Sally, then we can exploit any gap in her record as something sinister. We should hack her computer! Oh, don't listen to her. She'll blow the whole operation. Oh, come on, then. What's your genius plan? We make Olivia believe she has won. In the meantime, we build a case. We need witness statements, work history. You're boring. James, you have lost your edge. Are you serious? <laughs> Look, feel free to go down James's uncharacteristically squeaky clean route, which, by the way, will take a lifetime, or we go down mine. Less legitimate, but with faster results, and we get to start tonight. <laughs>